Greetings once again, Slayer. These days then, here with more Demon Slayer, Metsu no Yaiba, where previously, Tantra went with Zenetsu to the next leg of their training with the Stone Hashira Gyoime. Unfortunately, it was more intense than anything they had experienced before. Standing under a raging waterfall, then moving on to lifting heavy law, and finally pushing a massive boulder. And during this time, it's winter, and the water is extra cold. Standing under the waterfall threatens to break your neck should you not take caution, and many are in disbelief that Gyome can even push the boulders until Zenetsu sees it with his own eye. But Inosuke knows, after getting... <laughs> His face pushed in by Gyome. He's the real deal. That much is true. All the while, Muzan is using the Biwa demon, Nakima, in order to try and find where Uba Yashiki's mansion is. As Tanjiro trains, he finally manages to move on to the boulder, but is unable to. He's also been cooking for the other demon slayers and has officially become the team mob. But his biggest bit of information comes from none other than Genya, looking to apologize what happened to Tanjiro with him and his brother. He talks to Tanjiro about something called repetitive motion, using memories, sad and painful, in order to increase your blood rate and blood flow for when you need it most, bringing out your maximum power in an instant. Something Genya says that he learned from watching Gyome. And so Tanjiro goes back to the grind. He uses the memories of his parents of Enren Goku. He uses the words he remembers so well. Touch your heart ablaze. And he does it. His demon marked form. His strength increases. And he pushes the boulder. Tanjiro is at the cusp of graining new strength. But will it be enough? Since it seems as though Muzan might soon be on the move. What'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Oh, oh, it's, um, Zenitsu's little bird carrying a message. Interesting. Huh. Oh, there goes that boy. For real? He likes to move it, move it. Go, Tantra, go. <laughs> you did it, Tantra. You did it. Damn it, you beat me. Oh, it's not over yet. Yeah, he has to learn to maintain this. If I relax even f for even a second, I'll wilt and lose ground. Tantra needs to learn to keep it up. I gotta keep pushing this boulder for even a second longer. Not just with my arms, but with my lower body. Use your lower body to push it. Yes, exactly. A lot of physical strength also has to come from your lower body doing the majority of work because that's where a lot of your power comes from, but also not neglecting your upper body strength too. You have more muscles in your lower body than your upper body. Yes, that is true. Go, go. <laughs> tempura, tempura coming through. Oh, is she gonna do it too? <laughs> no? Oh my god, what? Oh, already? And this game managed to move his bolter too? It sucks. At least only me. It totally sucks. Oh, Jintaro? What do you want? I still haven't gotten my boulder to move, so I can't move on to the next training session. Hey, I thought the boulder was the last part. Do you mind not rushing me? <laughs> She's like, get it together, you little shit. Gosh, what is it? Huh? Huh? A letter? Hmm. I wonder what's in the letter. Episode 7, Stone Hashira Gyome Ha- Imajima. <laughs> Oof. He's still going at it. Hey, putting some power. Did he, did he go the entire way? One show, really? I was able to move it. Yeah, that means that my training with Mr. Himajima is over. God, you're gonna die. Huh? Uh-oh, I'm dehydrated. Yeah, no kidding. You must have sweated out a freaking gallon. Jeez. I uh, sweated bucket loads all of a sudden and didn't drink any water. Yes, water is very important. Time of recording, it is summer. I live in Florida. It is balls hot. You should have drink plenty of water. And then to, oh god no. Inosuke, Murata, oh that's a die right here. Man, thinking of them and not Nezuko, shame on you. Somebody. Oh, oh, the blessed water. That's a human dreamer. I'm safe. Nami Adu, but Nami Adu, Nami Adu, boots. Nami Adu, the boots. Huh? Am I dead? Oh, I'm alive. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have completed the boulder drill. In addition to that, you've made the right choice at the village. I acknowledge you. <laughs> More water? <laughs> village. Water. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> As a swordsmith villain, oh. you put the human villagers' lives ahead of your demon sister. Well, you see about that, he wasn't really given much of a choice. Oh, actually, no need to be ashamed. You're an exemplary swordsman. You should be proud of your virtuous action. No, it's not like that. It was Nezuko who made that decision. 
It wasn't me. I was indecisive, and the villagers came this close to dying. It's not right to acknowledge me. He's such an artist, but- Oh, his mark is still- Dang. Huh. Oh, this is- These creatures called children are pure and innocent and weak. They're prone to lying and have no qualms about being cruel. It is- it can come without really understanding what they're doing. And that is why it's up to adults to teach them, teach them to be kind, to be caring and all that. They're not inherently bad, it's just that they can pick up bad habits sometimes. They're selfishness personified. He's not wrong, ever. Just as I thought, this child is different. Oh, you consider him a child too? And I guess he is. Actually, how old is Gyome? I guess because of his size, I consider him older than pretty much everyone, but is he the oldest demon slayer? Outside of the retired guys, I'm always trying to keep myself on the right path, but I don't know what lies ahead. No one always helps me out, but I end up not straying from my path, that's all. But that's not a bad thing. It can be shockingly easy to lose your way, and having people who keep you on the right path is not a bad thing, even if just the memory of them can help you stay on the straight and narrow. I'll be honest, I probably would have made a lot less mistakes in my life had I at least continued to be around some of the people who supported me. Does that make me dependent? Yeah, I mean, maybe you're a lot stronger than I am and are able to keep a strong mind in a lot of bad situations, but uh, that's not always been the case for me that day as well. It was re really was a close call. Yeah. So, I ask you not to be so quick to acknowledge me. Obstinate, inflexible. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is a good boy to a fault thank you very much for the water and thank you for training me until today i learned a lot you dispelled my doubts no matter what anyone said i acknowledge you Andrew Kanada. what I, I don't get it why is that years ago i was raising orphan children at a temple oh backstory i was annoyed you're late Sorry. oh no not children Ugh. i always feel bad when Kids die. I mean, I feel bad when anyone dies, but I especially feel bad when kids die. Have to pee. Teacher, there's quite a feast today. Yes, open the room into a dried fish vent. You let me have his unsold goods for almost nothing. Let us give thanks to this kind person. And let us give thanks to Ryotaro Asa. We were on cooking duty today. You better appreciate it. Hey, Ryotaro. Hey, aw. What's this? I'm giving you my fish, teacher. There's your too skinny, teacher. Eat more, okay? Oh, I see. What a sweet child you are. I appreciate your concern. So I've undergone strict training. Hunger doesn't bother me. Now take this and eat well. Yeah. Oh, I know someone just like that. We'll make sure the kids eat before they ever even touch a drop of food. We'll make sure everybody else eats, period before they touch even the slightest drop of food. Can't get her to eat for shit. Where? Pass out from malnutrition one of these days. I may not look it, but I'm more powerful than you all. <laughs> he says the same thing too. Okay, then I'll take that. No, you won't. It's only for teaching. <laughs> oh, it's so wholesome. They're all gonna die. Like, that, straight up, they're all gonna die. Oh, that's why he did it during that one meeting. Okay, the one kid on the far right in black looks important. We humbly received this suit. We humbly received this suit. Yeah, the guy with the thing on his collar. Uh, he looks like the oldest of the kids, although none of us were related by blood. We all got along well, helping each other out, living like a family. I thought that I would go on living like that forever, but, but, ever one night. Oh, the black haired kid. He led a demon back to the rest of you. Oh, gee. A child who failed to return to the temple before dark, breaking the rule, encountered a demon in order to save himself. He told the demon that it could devour me and eight children. Oh, wow. So it wasn't even that he accidentally well in fear led you, him back to you he sold y'all out that's that's kind of messed up dang good night oh where i live the lord about the third demon still persisted ah uh, you burn instance of wisteria or something that, and that night i would always burn wisteria instance ah oh, dang that child they seen the instance and destroyed the burner then guided the demon inside the temple ah uh, is there? Oh, jeez. Four of the children were killed instantly. I did all that I could to protect the remaining four, but three of the children didn't do as I told them. <sighs> Rather rely on me, they fled. Their throats were slashed and they died. At the time, I had little food to eat and I was thin and also timid. I never even raised my voice. On top of that, what use could a blind adult? Okay, so he is blind. I wasn't really sure, honestly. You can't really see any light in his eyes. But usually what most series will do for blind characters is they'll at least have a pupil 
but it'll be faded like you can't see any light or reflection in it. And his eyes are just pure white. I wasn't sure if it was like something with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Batman, and it was just to make him look very intense or something, but now he's full on blind, huh? That was likely why the kids chose to run, Mr. Human Genie. Can't see? It was only the youngest Saya who did as she was told. Yeah. Saya alone hid behind me. I, I thought, believing I had to protect Saya no matter what. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's how he got the scar. Hey. Oh. Oh, it's kind of like, uh, with Nichiro. Just immediately summoning that strength on the spot. That adrenaline rush. Did he do it all with his bare hands? Breaking a little creature felt like hell to me, right? Especially if you had never really gotten into a, so much as a fight before. Yeah, and just relying on that primal instinct. I never thought, forgot how revolting it was for as long as I lived. For the first time in my life, I was clutching my fist, throwing punches with full force. Yeah, my strength was terrifying even to me. I mean, yeah, if you've never done that before, strung upon something that you had never felt before in your life, it would be like a sickness in your gut. Had the demon not attacked me, I would have gone my whole life never knowing how strong I was. I continued to smash it in the demon's head until daybreak, yeah, just like the others. At night, I lost score of things, scores of things. I was hurt, and I raised my life protecting Saya. But this is what she said to those who arrived on the scene. He's a monster. He's the one who killed. Well, who killed everyone? Ah, uh, she probably said it in a panic. She probably didn't get her words out right. That's, ah, uh, that's the thing about scared kids. They tend, if they don't calm down, they'll jumble up what they're trying to say. The terror of that experience must have left her confused. You're just a child of four. Yeah, yeah, especially at four years old. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, that sucks. You can blame her. That's just the kind of creature children are. But I, and so I want to say at least to appreciate what I had done. I wanted her to say, thank you for fighting for me. Just hearing those words would have saved me. Oh, but it's all children can do to think of themselves. The demon's course turned to dust and vanished. And all that was left was the children's remains. I, I was thrown in prison for murder. Dang. If the master hadn't intervened, I would have been executed. Afterward, it seems to me that I became very trust, truly distrustful. Needless to say, I was suspicious of you too. No matter how virtuous people seem to be, when push comes to shove, their true nature emerges. This is true. <sighs> it's sad, but true. Everyone has their breaking point. For some, they can do the right thing in the end. For others, including myself. You can sometimes make the wrong choices in a desperate situation. Hmm. But you never ran off. You never turned your gaze away. You never lie. You're pure and single-minded. It may seem simple enough, but few people can remain that way w whatever the situation. This is so true. So true. You're a special child. As someone who's observed scores of people with, eye the, with the eyes of my soul, I cannot be wrong. Everyone has of us has misgivings about the future. From now on, I too will help you so that you'll never stray from your path. Hmm. Aww. He's shedding tears for him. I'm gonna do my best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, it's probably been a long time since Sandra was treated like a kid. Aww. The training with me is now complete. Good for you for seeing it. Aww. Aww. That's a hell of a story. Oh, Master ain't looking too good. Say what you will about him, but Mr. Hemogene is a good guy. He said he wouldn't make me his Tsuguko because I have no talent. Ooh. But he let me become his apprentice when he sensed that I was eating demons. He sensed it. And he introduced me to Miss Kutcher to have her check my physical condition. Oh yeah, I bet. I'm still curious what made him think to eat demons though. Hey, is that right? Miss Kutcher gave me this really sour look. I bet. Who knows what eating demons is doing to your body? She lectures me every single time I see her. Inosuke, that's an issue, so you can't eat it, huh? If he's an issue, that means he doesn't want it, right? I bet the trick got the runs right about now. No, actually, I'd say he was feeling starved. Seriously, all you gotta do is worry about other people. You seem pretty summer yourself, so I thought she'd get on your case too. But she never did give you a hard time, huh? 
mean, he never really had a reason to, all things considered. Uh, I can't use breathing techniques, I'm sure I would have been in the same boat. But how are you physically, right? Is she not fully giving you a hard time because she's worried about your health, right? You think so? I'm sure she is. It's funny, Genya is probably like the most normal person Tanjiro interacts with. Also, is this just how his mark looks now? It just looks very different to me now. Around done eating, I'll be hanging over to Mr. Gyu. Are you coming to Genya? Nah, I can't go. I haven't moved the boulder on show yet. I'm almost done, you know. Uh, it's because I can't use breathing technique. Uh, you can't use breathing techniques? What a loser. Oh god. What a jerk. And did he just call me a loser? Oh, there it is. I was surprised that they've managed to get along so well for so long. Bottom feeder. <laughs> oh god. Hey, go on. Get off me. <laughs> Really? I was gonna talk to you on the like, on the way if you were coming. About what? About the wind hasha. Her big brother, huh? See about him. What about him? What? No, don't cut away. Oh, Zenitsu. Yeah, what what was that letter? Hey, it's Zenitsu. So there you are. Did you get your board to move? No, not yet. I see. I'm heading to my next training session. Are you alright? You haven't said much for the last few days and that worries me. Right, is that right? Good for you. What is going on here? This has me kinda worried. Usually he can't stop running off at the mouth. Give it your all. That's for me. What I'm supposed to do. What I have to do no matter what. It's become clear to me, that's all. Did something happen? Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Tundra, just do what you need to do, Tom. What the hell? But, but, I'm so worried. Uh, yeah, what is going on here? What was in that letter? Oh, don't tell me it's something like the guy who trained him died or something. You're really a good guy, aren't you? Thanks, but, oh, yeah. What was in that letter? Oh, there's one thing I have to do no matter what. Is he, is he conscious? What? What is going on here? What the hell happened? Hmm, I don't know if I like that. Hmm, so, what becomes of Tantra now? Is Nessa going to be okay? Yeah, I'm kind of worried too. Not to mention Nessica. Is it okay to leave her and someone else's care for so long? Yeah, you haven't seen her in a while. This is probably the longest you've been apart since uh, you did your training. Uh, she's not feeling lonely. A thousand years bamboo grow. Uh, let's see, so I'm here. If Gia's place should be around here, right? Wait, I thought you had already been to Gia's place. Was that not Gia's place? Before? Huh. What, training? Uh huh? Oh, excuse me? Uh, they're training? Oh, so quick. Oh, it's a wind breathing. First form. Thus, Robin Cutter. But, oh, I can see. I can follow their movements. Ooh, he has improved. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, come on, what's wrong? I thought you weren't like the rest of us. I'm not like the rest of you. Uh, hey, about that. That's not what that means, right? <laughs> it's the way he presents himself, unfortunately. Water breathing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Going for the legs. Fourth form. Striking tide. Do you be any slower? Oh, seventh form. Drop ripple thrust curve. What the hell? Fifth form. Old mountain wind. Oh. They broke. Dang. All right. Let's kill each other with our bare hands next. <laughs> that friggin' face. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, wait. You guys are supposed to come in contact. Hold on a second. You can't kill each other. I thought you shut up, damn it. What happened to the restraining order? Is a full on restraining order? You've been spying on us, you scumbag. You're fighting over red bean mochi? If that's the case, I'll make enough for it to fill you up, alright? Hey, what? You're messing with me, aren't you? What? Right? No, I'm serious. You love Red Bean Mochi, right, Mr. Shinigazawa? You're training me at your place. I could always get a whiff of Mochi rice and Red Bean paste. That was so good. Really? Every time you went back, there was the lowest scent of matcha tea and Red Bean Mochi. I assume that. Shinigazawa, do you like Red Bean Mochi? They sure are yummy, aren't they? Red Bean Mochi, do you like Red Smooth Beans? Or Chunky Bean? You know, I really love my grandma's Red Bean Mochi. Oh, jeez! Oh, man, too many Hashiras clocked him cold. Uh-huh. It's a gear. She knows the guy got angry and stormed away. I see. Why were you fighting? You weren't fighting. That was part of our Hashira training. We start with each other, Hashira versus Hashira. Ah, uh, is that right? It's hard to tell with him because he always speaks like friggin' Bakugo. Alright, I get it. You're using wooden sword. See, I see. Sorry for interrupting. No, he didn't interrupt us. I mean, I didn't know how to talk to him. And Shinigazawa was angry the whole time, right? But I'm glad I found out what Mr. Shinigazawa's favorite food is. And now I think I'll hide Red Bean Mochi in my sleep. <laughs> and give it to Shinigazawa every time I see him. Like a dog. Oh, man. There. I feel like that'll just piss him off more. Oh, uh, that's a great idea. How do I do that? I think we can become good friends. Oh, God. I think I'll do the same. Don't bother, moron. Oh, damn, though. There they 
loitering in it. He knew that both Igoro and Tokito would be up now of all time. As running those losers to the ground, it felt like, dude, I'll get rusty. Are you fighting with Red Bee Mochi? Tanjiro Kamada told that Punk hadn't put a damper on things. Damn him. What the hell is his deal anyway? No less a piece of work for that kid. It's for real. Oh, what? Oh, oh, what are the eyes? Oh, have they finally clued in? What the hell is this? Or, oh, is this a bad sign? Because, wouldn't that mean they're close? Oh, what are you sensing? We've been infiltrated. Yep, they're here. Crap, how many? Will be a shiki. No, don't tell me. Oh, no. Oh, crap. He's here? Personally? No. And he brought mist. He brought his own smoke machine. Don't you guys have any wisteria to keep him out or something? Or is he too powerful for that? Ah, hey. oh, that's... It's a great segue into the ending because it's just Muzan walking. Oh, man. So is this ending him moving through the Infinity Castle to get to Uriashiki's residence? Huh. Dang. And then something happens where they all end up in the Infinity Castle. Does he, like, flee and they follow? I figured he'd go after Nezuko first. But I guess it makes sense. Take out Ubiashiki, and that'll cause at least a little bit of disruption amongst the lower ranks since they follow him so faithfully. Dang. And getting Gilmay's pass was kind of heartbreaking, but you could kind of see what was happening the moment he said, I took care of orphans. Oh, we're picking right back on up. Oh, God. <laughs> the music is still continuing. Jeez. God, this feels like a Dio moment. Oh, that mist looks so good. Oh my god, they are going wild with it. Yo. I hate this, but I love this at the same time. Dude. Again, the theatrics of it all. Oh, does he sense him? Or were they expecting him? E she. And the theatrics of this, man. Y'all are just showing off. Again, never before has walking been so epic. This feels like something out of JoJo's. I expect him to just pose and summon his stand after this. Oh, he's totally bringing the mist with him. Is he like radiating an aura or is this just for the theatrics? Got the whole shaky cam going on too. Is there nobody guarding? Something just rolling on in. And nah, he doesn't just slaughter them on the spot, does he? Oh man, this angle going crazy. I need y'all to do something. Oh, well, hello. So you're here. He was expecting. Nice to meet you. I should say, Muzan, Ibushi. Man, got a drip that says, my wardrobe costs more than your life. <laughs> You're certainly looking hideous, Ubiishi. Of course, this is, of course that's where the episode ends. <sighs> oh, man, I'm worried. <laughs> These past few episodes have been so lighthearted. To now have this, jeez. They are gonna talk about Mr. Shinagazawa. Oh, so we are having him in a Taisho era secret. What the hell? You got some business with me, Komodo? Uh, I wouldn't call it business. If you don't, then get out of my sight. Jeez. Oh, and, uh, and he's gone. All right, here's the Taisho era secret. This is Shinagazawa's hobby is raising Japanese rhinoceros beetles. And I hear his favorite food is red bean mochi. He raises rhinoceros beetles? Oh man, that's such a little kid thing to do. Red bean mochi, huh? Did you just mention red bean mochi again? Uh, next to final episode, the Hashira Unite. Get the hell back here. <sighs> so we saw Shinagazawa. Shinagazawa. I, I think that's how you said his name. Senemi. It's easier just to say Senemi. Because then you don't know if I'm talking about Genya or Senemi. If Senemi sensed it, the other Hashira must have sensed it. But wait, th would they know to go to Ubiashiki? That's the question. And now that we're entering the final battle, I don't know. I kind of was hoping that Tanjiro would find a way to, you know, get Senemi or, or Obanai to kind of deal with him a little bit. But I guess realistically, you're not going to become friends with everyone. And he managed to get most of the Hashira on his side. <laughs> I wonder what the last leg of training would have been for Tanjiro then. Because I was kind of wondering if when I heard Hashira training art, would it be that they were training people to take the place of some of the Hashira they've lost? But it seems it was just getting everyone stronger. Hmm. Which is weird because with everything he's done, he's taken down upper ranks. He's been there for the feet of multiple upper rank. And now with this training he's completed, you think he would be promoted to Hashira, but I'm not really sure how that would go. And now considering he literally have Kabutsuji right up with the leader of things. Ugh, man. And it's so wild because 
going off the manga, this arc has barely adapted any manga content. So it leaves me kind of wondering, how much manga content is the Infinity Castle arc gonna cover? Because is it the Infinity Castle, the final arc? Is it gonna be cut in two? I could have sworn Infinity Castle is the final arc, but I know there's a lot of volumes worth of content left to adapt, so, hmm curious how long the infinity castle stuff will last or maybe it's all just fight scene that's entirely possible too hmm you just have to wait and see well let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the ride thank you so much for watching and until next time i've been dudes this then and I hope to see you later so then take care Bye bye